all right guys welcome to the second ever episode of the game inspector randoms now this is a game i actually meant to play season one going way back to the nes now this game is really weird bad street brawler i mean if you just look at the title screen it looks like it's duke nukem before he became duke nukem like So, you know, this is a weird beat em up game. You go around beating up bulldogs, and these bald guys look like a, maybe it's an older Super Mario or something. And they fly around and stuff. It's so weird. And your attacks are weird. And look at this. I can't even see past the bushes. And you can't move up or down. The up button actually makes you jump. Yeah, it's one of those games. So here I am. I'm beating up these bald guys, and then I'm beating up these dogs. <laughs> Just punching them, kicking them. And the weird thing is you notice the moves I get in the beginning, the second stage, they actually change. So that's a little weird too. And then like the move you do when you hit A and B at the same time is this ear twist. And I'm over here trying to get this this guy. He's, you know, he's probably about my height. <laughs> but I can't reach him because he's too short. So yeah, there's, there's advantages to being short. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm over here trying to beat this guy up. I can't freaking get him. And he's, he, he could either fly or he could throw that thing at you. And then this random guy comes in out of nowhere. Like, like some, like, back in the day drug dealer. Like, hey, man, I got that shit. <laughs> he just gives you a power up out of nowhere. And you will see later on in the second level, he actually leaves a bomb. And I assumed it was, you know one of those things you're not supposed to get so I just walked away and you're gonna see what's gonna happen when I get to that part so yeah they're, they're around here flying around and what I didn't notice until I was playing in a little bit is that there's a timer now I'm down to 10 seconds and what happens is apparently when this timer runs out you just start losing health the hell that that really makes no sense I mean just to make a pretty bad game even worse look at it my health is just drained it makes no sense at all I'm hearing that noise in the background and I'm just like the hell and and then the boss is a random gorilla like is that supposed to be a more real-life Donkey Kong so in the beginning of every stage you get these uh, like practice things you get to beat up this punching bag so now we're back in a level and of course with these stupid bushes in the way you can't see what you're doing and like I said up and down down is duck and up is jump so you can't move out the way and then you know I mean this is back in the day when beat-em-ups were fairly new and coming out so they you know they, it's not your double dragon or your river city ransom or streets of rage you know <laughs> <It's a> little, <laughs> just kicking around these dogs I mean Peter must have been real pissed about this I mean that's if they existed back then I don't know because I didn't have this game growing up this game I actually originally had around the time when I was still living in New York I was randomly purchasing uh, retro games off of Amazon they were fairly cheap you know maybe the most at the time would be 10 bucks and I was just like you know whatever I just didn't really have the time to go out and do any game hunting until Game Inspector Adventures came around and speaking of Game Inspector Adventures, um, my good friend Eric, aka NTI Compass, on YouTube, he's gonna be coming down sometime next month, I'm really excited, we're gonna be doing a bunch of videos, definitely be playing some games, and I at least wanna do one Game Inspector Adventures, so if you haven't seen that show, search it on YouTube, unfortunately it's not on this channel yet, it's on my old channel that I got locked out of, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna be hopefully getting back in there soon. I keep saying that, but yeah, even Eric's been trying to help me get back in the channel, and it just hasn't happened yet. It's it might be locked at this point, and you can't contact Google. So here comes this this crackhead-looking guy with a bat, and he's the only guy who can do the ear twist move. That's what's supposed to be. And then the weird thing, oh, I doubt again. When you kill him, he drops something. Or he turns into something and it ends up being a power up. <laughs> Alright, so let's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something different. You know, screw all of this stuff. 
if I'm on a timer, I gotta run. You know? <laughs> Alright, so that's as far as the screen will let me go. So, I guess I have to fight these guys anyway. So yeah, I mean, this game is pretty bad for a beat em up, but you know, playing this, you know, I intended to kind of give it a, a really bad, you know, I don't want to say rating, but a review, you know, and it's, it is a little fun, something to play when you're bored, you know, and surprisingly, it's two players, I didn't know that until I just started it up right now. So yeah, you could do this silly ear twist move, it does take a, a decent amount of health away from the enemy. And again, I'm just like, you know, fuck all this shit, it's gonna go to the end. Alright, so I still gotta fight some of these people, and there's the gorilla throwing bananas. <laughs> Must have got it from the monkey in, um, uh, Dinatron City. Remember that game, Season 1, The Game Inspector? That game is actually pretty good, I should probably play that on Twitch at some point. But yeah, I'm ear twisting this gorilla, like, who does that? I wouldn't even try to fight a gorilla. Alright, so I beat the first stage, and now he's tossing all his goodies into a dumpster? The hell? Now the weird thing, and I've played this part before, is you get different moves, completely different moves, on the next level, and this trip move is really weird. Really weird, like, like, <laughs> like on some, like, creepy predator stuff. I mean, I know Duke Nukem gets bitches, but damn. Is this his humble beginnings? <laughs> so yeah, it, it looks really weird when you're doing this move to people. It just looks really cool. <laughs> it's supposed to be a trip move, so you would think you would grab them and they would trip, right? But instead, they roll into like a ball and then you're just like finessing them. It looks so bad. But when you do it to the dog, it kind of looks like you're giving it a belly rub. And at one point, he will say like, good boy or something. Really, really weird game right here. I'm surprised none of the big time YouTubers even talked about this one, how weird this game is. But, you know, it is kind of fun um, playing and it's it's interesting. I mean, you know, I'm like I said, I bought this off of Amazon and I thought it was just a regular beat em up. I didn't really look it up, I just saw it was cheap and I got it and I was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> but yeah, you know. Amazon's not really the greatest place to buy retro games, especially now, the prices definitely go up, but, you know, <laughs> I've been wanting to do this game since season 1 of the Game Inspector, right now we're on season 4, and I recently, you know, if you check out my Christmas video I just put up, I recently got my old N64 back from my parents' house, oh there's the bomb by the way, now look at that, it exploded, and we're on the other screen, and it still hurt me and the enemy. <laughs> Video game logic, huh? <laughs> See, nice boy. And then it, it, it kills it. So was he like belly rubbing him to death? And there goes that, that creepy gangster guy, and it's the ape again. And time's running out, so I'm about to die. <laughs> I don't even know what those building looking things are up there. Is that from Pilot Wings when I was playing it on Project 64? Well, at least I got number 6 on the top 10. I hope I'm number 6 in your guys' top 10. <laughs> Maybe for like the budget game review people. I mean, there was a time I was actually going to call myself something like the budget gamer, but I didn't want to be known as always being broke or budget or whatever this game's this game's alright it's weird 